Right, so it's becoming a familiar occurrence to see a Labour parliamentary candidate selection be just accompanied by the sight of parachutes in the sky, swinging in, carrying Starmer's chosen candidates for local Labour to choose from amongst, because they're local people that they might want, they simply won't do. They might be socialists, you see. Ooh, they might actually want to <gasps> offer hope or change to people. They might not want to be a Tory B team candidate. And indeed, the people, the Labour members in their area may not want a Tory B team candidate. So Starmer and co make sure they can only choose from people they've already picked, you see, so as to deliver the army of yes men at the next election that Team Keep want. Well, it hasn't gone their way exactly in Wales. Before I go any further, I'm going to apologise in advance for any mispronunciations on the way, because Damo's doing a Welsh story again. I get picked up on my pronunciations of these places every single time, so I'm heading it off right now before we start. Right? Good? Are we ready? OK. So we're in Carmarthen, I can say that one. And the local favourite to be selected for Labour to stand for Parliament is a chap called Rob James, who happens to also be the opposition leader on Carmarthen County Council. So a significant local politician, all to the good for the Labour Party, you would think. Dowd, you silly. Team Keith, it would appear, don't like him. And they got a properly pathetic reason for trying to get Rob James off the ballot. It all concerns a text message. The allegation is that James sent a text message in reference to the Clenethley member of the Senate and Welsh Deputy Climate Change Minister, uh, Lee, Lee Waters, earlier this year when the topic of second homes in Wales was a key topic of debate. The allegation is that Rob James sent a text message to an unspecified person saying, if you want to cause some trouble today, you may want to point out in the second home debate that the MS for Clenethley has two second homes in Carmarthenshire and doesn't live in either of them. Now, if this were a falsehood, then you could understand this being a disciplinary issue, perhaps. Arguably, someone who lies isn't a good fit to be a parliamentary politician. Though the message is hardly abusive, it's not like Christian Wakeford calling Angela Rayner a see you next Tuesday by text message, is it? But then he's still allowed to stand for an MP because he was a former blue Tory. But then Labour is also led by Keir Starmer, of course, who lies like a rug. He lies like a rug, a rug made out of a bear skin. A bear skin from a bear that Starmer might have claimed to have shot himself, despite a Labour on the rear left paw saying 100% faux fur made in Taiwan. That kind of a liar. Anyway, the text message I am informed is actually wrong, because I'm told that Lee Waters allegedly has four homes, not two. He just happens to have two in Clinethley, and the other two are in Penarth. He has formally denied having three homes, which isn't, of course, denying having four. But obviously that is alleged. So what we have here is a member of the Senate, though, for Labour, uh, undermining the argument over second homes, it would appear. And the accusation is that the Carmarthenshire County Council opposition Labour leader has attacked one of his own party over this issue of second homes. Here's the thing, though. Nobody, including the Labour Party, can prove Rob James sent the text. James himself has not admitted to having done so. He said he can't remember ever having sent such, such a message. Nonetheless, despite being unable to prove any wrongdoing whatsoever, Labour have blocked James from standing on the basis that it would risk reputational damage for the party. Yet he can stay leader of the opposition at County Hall, though. Mm, doesn't seem to make sense to me. Well, however this situation might look to you, Local members are smelling an all-too-familiar Starmer-shaped rat around this, have seen what has happened in so many other constituencies around the UK, and they've said, no, we are not having this, with one member saying, what has happened is outrageous and very unfair. It's appalling that Welsh Labour is trying to stop local members deciding who their candidate can be. They're pretty justified in it too. James got all the branch nominations from every single branch in the constituency. He's led the Labour group for six years, meaning he's a Corbyn-era leadership candidate having come into the opposition leadership role and that likely speaks volumes over this entire affair he got shortlisted though he got on the selection ballot even and then all of a sudden this text message story came out oh very convenient a little bit late to be comfortable though for the for the right wingers who might be trying to make some political capital out of this because of course the postal ballots will have already been sent out and people will have already cast votes in favor of rob james even as officials try to get him disqualified and as such when it came to that selection meeting and Labour members could vent their spleens at said officials, vent their spleens they did, a motion ended up being passed to abandon the entire proceeding. Members flat refusing to select anyone. And this is quite an event because, as Michael Crick has noted on his Tomorrow's MP's Twitter account, this is the first successful revolt against a candidate selection for either Labour or the Tories. The Carmarthen East and Dinfour Labour Party Twitter account responded in kind saying, 
This is welcome news. Members in Carmarthenshire must be allowed to democratically and fairly elect the candidate that we believe in. We do hope Welsh Labour is listening. Well, indeed. What will happen next then? Still unknown at this point, but locals have made it clear they want Rob James, left-leaning and popular, to be their candidate. And they don't appear to be prepared to take no for an answer on this. Imposing someone from centralised Labour somewhere, well, centralised uh, Welsh Labour or... Westminster, even London Labour imposing things, seems likely given how the Starmer regime tends to conduct itself. But like we've seen elsewhere, angering local members means they won't campaign, they won't to door knock, they won't leaflet, and they won't vote. It's a dangerous, arrogant gamble that Starmer keeps playing up and down the country that polling doesn't reflect. And I'd like to believe that will cost him dearly in the long run. He deserves to be punished for how he's conducting himself and how these candidacies are being conducted. Solidarity to Camarth and Labour, thanks for making a stand. I hope it inspires others to do likewise, rather than accept just another parachute being inflicted upon them, particularly when done on the weakest and most spurious of reasons, as this one seems to be. What do you reckon, though? Are Labour right to take Rob James out, despite having no proof of wrongdoing? Are they justified in imposing their will as they do, or is it not worth the risk when they want to win power? Are they overreaching? Will they pay a price for these ongoing attacks on local members at the ballot box? Or... Will the arrogance being shown not matter in the long run? Let me know in the comments. Be part of the conversation. Share your thoughts with me. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you did. More content out daily. Meanwhile, here's a video recommendation where boundary changes have been used as an excuse to el eliminate another Welsh lefty from the parliamentary Labour Party ranks. And I'll hopefully see you on the next vid. Cheers, folks.